have a couple of concerns coming into this map. The first being we said that uh, if Hot Flash were going to give themselves a stay of execution, it had to happen on Dust 2, their own map pick. Now we head over onto Evil Genius's map pick. And yes, Hot Flash do get to start on the CT side, but it's going to have to be a phenomenal one. Oh. oh. He's here. She's coming knocking. She picks up two. She's looking to try and push up the ADR. She may have had a fantastic KD, but... ADR was one of the lowest on the teams because Shield's playing anchor. She comes in with an absolute banger, picking up two for herself. Milky does fall down behind them. It's going to be a one for two trade. Decently well played, and that's going to be the first round in the favor. Right off the bat. But EG, what a fantastic oh. couple of kills there. Watching that replay was just nasty. Love to see it. Brutal. Oh, it's a tough spot for Hot Flash to be in. Oh, there you go. Moment of brilliance. <laughs> and it it really was quite brilliant, to be fair. That that 50-50 angle, and she just wins both. I mean, that's just that's just unfair. All right. Good, we have to see it twice. Hey. Oh, no, Empathy's got the doolies. She's getting ready for the orb, but she's got the doolies. I love it. Uh, I, I, I have a few things to say about this, but I don't think it really matters. She picks up a double piece. With those jewelries, Janky with the P250 is going to be in a world of pain if she shows her head here. There's so many guns and Garden is going to be shutting her down. Last player left alive. Zin, she's still on site and she has a USB in hand. Garden doesn't even get a chance. It's going to be Empathy with the third kill, if I'm right in saying that, on that round with the jewelries. Well, okay, evil geniuses. You've got a two round lead. Let's see if you can uh, keep that going. Hot Flash now obviously gonna be able to buy in. I must say those those early nades, there is nothing more satisfying than watching two or three nasty nades connect in an anti-eco. And of course that just made cleanup. The Hot Flash have obviously forced into this. Very limited utility. They've already used most of it. Now Evil Geniuses, oh, I just gotta play a little bit patient here. Yeah, I did mention before we went into the well, last break, obviously Overpass is one of the maps that could come in with complications. Hot Flash, let's start on the CT side, as you mentioned. And obviously we can see this boost for Janky could be huge, but the smoke coming out here is going to be to their detriment. Garden is going to be losing the head for her life at least. Sunny almost goes for a kill up in towards toilets, but both her and her teammate are going to fool. Rather quickly, Milky just pushes over towards site, looking to take control. Janky messes up the flash. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be forced back here. Doesn't quite get all the way out towards Dumpster. Going to be holding in towards Banker. Teammate has made it through. Milky ready to receive this player. Looking to take these shots, but goes down in the process. Bomb. Let's get planted over towards the truck position. Flash comes out. It is useful. Summer's going to be able to get a kill. Empty fools, and so does Piggy. No zero KD for you, and what a round, and as, as I said, complications. Third round in, they pick up their first one. Wow, really, really well played there. I mean, like we said, right, they forced into that one. Uh, they had very limited utility. They used so much of it early on, but they held on to a lot of those flashes, and obviously pivoting off of that, done that quite well for themselves. Now they come into this round with three weapons that they bring in from, uh, well, that they essentially yoinked from evil geniuses, and thank God for that, because, of course, the economy is a... Uh, a little bit shaky across the board here. But at least, like I said, right, they've got those weapons. They're able to buy an extra M4. Plus, they've got quite a bit of utility under their belt here. Gonna need it as, of course, EG able to buy in themselves pretty easily. Yeah, they obviously lost their bonus round, so it's not the end of the world for them. They still have cash in the bank. Well, not anymore after they've just spent all of it, all their savings. AWP on Empathy. Remember, she doesn't miss with that gun. Not too often anyway, big green. AWP. Garden with the AK. She's going to have to make sure she hits her shots a little bit more consistently this game. Seems going to be a bit more difficult. Janky ready to receive. Milky pushes on through, but no flash to the back or up. She's going to go down. Piggy goes in for the trade. Takes almost all the HP in the process. So keep that in mind. Flash is going to be coming out. So is the utilities, the barrage of them as well. Summer Rako looking to try and save this for themselves. Empathy does get a kill on Talia. That's the AWP drops on their side. No, never mind. As a toxic battle player, Sunny, if AWP does manage to get killed, backs off. Bomb is dropped onto Wall Slight, but they do have the control at this, part, at this point in time. Water player does go down. Zinn 
That's fine one, but the trades are just back and forth so quickly. Jess comes around the corner and Sunny found. Bonus round may well have been lost, but they converted it fairly easily into the fourth. Hey, well done for keeping that expensive, but uh, yeah, he would have liked to have come out on top of that one. Obviously, having won just one round doesn't give you any sort of economic buffer to deal with, so they're immediately back down onto pistols, and evil geniuses will take full advantage of that into this round. It's also quite, uh, quite cool seeing P uh, Piggy play like a more tip of the spear kind of role. Like, you know, we were saying this in the break and you kind of alluded to it a little bit uh, at the start of this map, but she really played like a more anchor sight hold type of player on the, on Dust 2. Now to see her kind of given the opportunity to be that front runner, that entry fragger, get in there, get those opening kills, create the space for her team. It's really cool to see such a versatile player. Yeah, I mean, like you said, just love that versatility, being able to play in different positions as to when and where your team needs you. Excited to see what they're going to be able to do forward. Obviously, going into this next round, it's going to be the fifth one. A little bit difficult here for Hot Flash. They have invested into this, at least partially. That MAC-10 could make some decent damage, as I imagine be placed down in towards Connector, but they are going to be a little bit slow here, comparably. They're going to have to be a little bit careful. Leah going to get instantly grenaded. Doesn't get hit by that too much. Only four points of damage on this close angle. Waiting to see if anyone wants to play in towards the... Uh... Oh, trap. Empathy, on the other hand, playing up towards party. Sunny holding this angle. is going to go in for the shot. This may well push our teammates up to go and play an aggressive, but... Oh, Garden, Piggy. They're going to be able to get multiple kills. Leah does go down without taking too much of a shot. Sunny, last player left the line. Position is well documented as well. Piggy. Going to be following up through connector so they now know that she's either in connector still or pushed up towards mid so if they're smart they should be checking these angles they do exactly that milky on point one absolute beast obviously with that bigger pistol round you're not expecting a whole hell of a lot to come out of it and one of the things that like i had started saying on dust 2 was that we hadn't seen hot flash take a pause now it's very likely that they don't have a coach. Obviously, this is a team without an organization, you know, just kind of a mix of, of really good friends, I suppose, who uh, I think they call themselves like a sisterhood team, something to that effect. I think those were their words. I love um, it. That's great. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really, really sweet. Yeah, a sisterhood of players. That's what they call themselves. So, uh, yeah, definitely no brains behind the scene. Um, but you definitely want to see them kind of just take some time, take a breath, take a pause, figure out their next steps, which could very well be happening right now. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Would have been nice, but uh, just need to reevaluate a little bit here. Because again, evil geniuses really do have the runaround. And as we mentioned, this is a hugely CT-sided map uh, when you compare it to a lot of other maps in the pool. So this is really where they want to be getting a bit of a runaway. And uh, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. <laughs> uh, here comes the dive down in towards connector. The Flash don't have any excuses this time around. They have got the rifles. Limited utilities, you know, I'll give them that. A little bit of an excuse. Sunny. It's going to be left in a little bit of trouble, but Leah does manage to get trade. Summer does go down. P here to return the favor, though. A little bit of a disappointing return of uh, investment down in towards that short position. It's going to be down two players. Sunny going to be pushing down. Does catch them off guard. Gets one. Reload. Ooh. Plays in the hand of Jess. Who I think for a split second considered pulling out the knife, but <laughs> plays it safe. Gets the kill. Now well, they know at least this position behind them is clear. Two dead over towards B. They can push wherever they so wish. They have a decent amount of control on the side of EG at the moment. And Janky. Zin, last two players left alive. Not in a position to do anything on the on this position. Go towards B, Janky. I was trying to go in for a bit of a spray, but unfortunately lose some of their health. ABC going to be in a big bit of contention. They could do, a, you know, an interesting boost. I think they'll be fairly easily countered by the opposition. And I, I do like how these players are still playing defensively and not over peaking on the side of EG. They're still playing to win this. Janky. Last player left alive, 69 HP, EG, still got three members to contend with. And you can see how this smirk in here, realizing just how screwed she is on this front, so you're going to have to back off. AWP shot comes out. She's here, here for the first steps, and now she's going to slowly back away and try to stay alive. Another round that... Uh... 
Hot Flash tried to keep expensive, and he managed to get uh, two kills in that one, so didn't really go as well as they would have liked. I mean, obviously, I say as they would have liked, they would have liked to win the round. Um, yeah, just really struggling. Again, it's exactly what I was saying on the first map, you know, just struggling to read into Evil Genius's flow. They're definitely doing better than they did on the first map. I mean, Evil Genius is racking up some uh, some deaths there on their side, so there's a huge improvement from Hot Flashes in these rounds, but it's still not enough. There needs to be a lot more... I don't know. Ability to adapt, I suppose. Um, yeah, that ability, too, yeah. And, um, I think, on that front. There, 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 was, there was a couple of moments there in that last round. I'll, I'll let the expert analysis in chat try to sign what I'm talking about, but there were analysis. a few mistakes. Hey, you know, I, I know big words. And that's you, me. Do you know that I use uh, I use big words to make myself sound more photosynthesis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, <laughs> let's try to take a focus on this. This could be the sixth round on the board here for EG. I expect so, but Milky going to be sliding off. Oh. Nice two-piece over towards the toilet. Cleans up the slight janky. Last the only one on the team with a rival this uh, time round. I want to just, you know, turn around and save that, but she's going to be pushing in with her team. Keep in mind, they have fairly, pretty much no cash in the back either. They went for an interesting buy on this run. The barrel of the gun has been spotted. They're going to be going for the boost. Piggy should turn around, but it's going to be empty with the wall bang. Pretty much on the, on the summer there. Gets the first kill. And, uh, well, that's going to be Leah just staying up there on the other side of that. I think the arm was spotted by Milky. No, she didn't actually see it. There's a player in towards bank. Uh -oh. be pushing anyway. AK in hand. Flicks on over, but Janky's too. What's the trigger? Gets the kill. Pulls out the AK from the dead body. Lee is going to be pushing over towards Slight. Takes the pot shots, but falls in the process. The Piggy picks up another two kills for herself. Two to not, uh, nine to two, rather. Well, you know, two kills. That's a little bit disappointing there, Piggy. I mean, milky, though. <laughs> that, that was certainly fun to watch. Uh, for a moment, I thought she was just going to like keep running with the knife out. I wasn't sure if she was actually going to pull out the, the AK. Uh, loses the battle. So certainly entertaining, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, team wins the round. Who cares? Lose one player? It's fine. You got players, two of your players have more than nine K. Wait, 8.8? 8. I mean, either way, right? More cash than they probably know what to do with at this point. And uh, Hot Flash, well going to be able to buy in here once again but we're in that really really awkward cycle where you're just constantly at max loss streak bonus which is not a hell of a lot so you're like buying then maybe like half buying then pistol and and the, the it just you know double pistol so that you can buy again they're just they're not finding any footing here they need to start getting a few rounds not just because evil geniuses are absolutely ring away with this but also like they're not gonna be able to get in and stay in if they can't get some rounds together mm. vicious cycle yeah being able to convert that bonus round is one thing but it's a bonus round the, yeah. there's a predominantly probably the, the second easiest rounds to get aside from obviously like pistol rounds and then maybe so half buys and such but yeah well and that, that's the thing as well <laughs> that they're probably It'd be interesting to see if someone's got like statistics out there if it's easier to convert a bonus round or, pit or pistol round because pistol rounds people just don't care they're just going to yolo yeah. uh with jewelies and such as we've seen uh <laughs> well that happens <laughs> in bonus rounds too either way moving onwards this is hot flash they have to try and uh, convert this round through as well uh, this far into the into this map obviously eight rounds on the board they're on ct side they've got every advantage on their side they really need to be making this work for them I expect we'll be seeing a boost. Maybe, actually, no. Maybe EG won't even bother going for that one, which is interesting. And I mean, it's a good call as well, by happenstance, because uh, people are checking that. Jess has been tagged down. I'm not quite sure where that was. I think it was actually up towards the A site with the AWP. Couldn't hear the shot, but we could see the damage. Summer, talking of which, is going to be able to lay down the law. Flash is going to be coming out. Perfect flash, actually. Pull the play over towards that short position. Saves themselves a little bit longer. Janky does go down in the process, though. Not what you want from your teammates. Dropping like flies. Has to reload. Here's the bomb going down. Decides to go before the spam, but... Too much Niga Viva. Gonna pull to the wayside. Sunny misses her AWP shot. Has to re-peek in for it, but Piggy's there to take the shots. Leah does get the kill, though. Piggy pulling to the wayside. Unfortunately for herself, Sunny gonna be playing aggressive. It's AWP. Scopes out. 
Unfortunately, as Garland just peeks in, gets the kill. Easy piece for them as they clean up the final couple of players. And really nice attempt from Hot Flash, but EG are just too calm, cool, and composed. Yeah. We, we went from a situation where Hot Flash were keeping some of those rounds relatively close to Evil Genius is just going, oh, no, you don't. And denying a lot of that, uh, you know, value that they were getting a little bit early on, if you could really call it much value. <laughs> I mean, Evil Genius is just on such a runaway tear at the moment. And it's terrifying to see that they do this well on this T side, where they have just a complete, perfect understanding of exactly what they want to do from round to round. I mean, like we said, right, this is the team that has only dropped one map in the, in the entirety of this season. Oh, we're finally seeing Hot Flash take a attack time out as well. So interested to see if they'll be able to make some much needed adjustments. Obviously, this round more than likely going to be a little bit of a whitewash. I mean, they don't really have too much to work with into this one. So hopefully in the next round when they've got a little bit of cash to play with, see if they can make some of the adaptations because EG's pacing has just been unbreakable. I'd like to see Leah get killed with this Mag 7. It's about time. <laughs> uh, I think she's had it three times now. So being able to, you know, but that, it'd, be, it'd be nice to see. And playing into towards thought is actually a really good position for it. You'd be in a lot of trouble though, in a couple of seconds. We do have a Stompede on the T side pushing their way up. Of course, the long position. So he's going to be in a perfect position, but over peaks it. Over aggressive. Unfortunate decision making there from their side. You can see that a little bit too eager on that front. We saw it into that previous round as well, that they go a little bit too eager. Don't play for the timings, don't play for the spams, and you can see that it is costing them rounds and kills. And if anything, this is a this is just an opportunity for them to learn from and look back on this and see what they could potentially be doing better for next season, if not next match. Mm -hmm. I will just say this just kind of speaks again to EG's like complete disrespect. You were talking about the stampede, and that's exactly what it was. It was just elephants on parade. Hot Flash knew exactly where they were, and EG just did not care that their position was 100% known. Because they knew they could win out the duels, right? This is what we were talking about a little bit earlier on, that experience diff definitely becoming a huge factor. I said becoming, right? It, it, it has been a huge factor. You take a team that has performed at some of the top level in Women's Counter-Strike, and you place them up against a team of, you know, sisterhood of players, you know, friends, oh. trying to do the best that they can, trying to improve slowly but surely as a team. And like you said, right, this is a good lesson for Hot Flash, I think, because they can just, you know, look back on it and they can see some of their mistakes, some of the things that they can learn on, because you don't really learn anything if you're playing against teams that you stomp, right? So this might not necessarily yeah. be the greatest lesson for Evil Geniuses, but for Hot Flash, there's so much that they can learn, that they can take away from this into their future matches. It, it could really be the, the the worst kind of outcome for EG. If, if you have zero resistance, like if you, if you take going to the gym, for, 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 for example, if you have absolutely zero resistance and you're just pushing tiny weights, like one kilo, like KG weights or whatever it is for, for your size and strength, you're, you're not going to be gaining and learning from that experience mm -hmm. and what you're doing. So you're going to be putting in a decent amount of effort, but very little return. And that's kind of what this could be for them. So maybe a false sense of uh, security going into uh, yeah. the global stage, uh, which could be to their downfall. But we're not there yet. Hot flash on the other side. Like you said, I think this is an opportunity for them to learn, even if they don't manage to get this map, which is still a possibility. They have it. Still a, at least this half to go and then next half as well. In summer, I have got some promise behind them. But, uh, and what well, we did see last game as well, Garden did make a couple of mistakes that could be uh, really taken advantage of, but it's going to be pushed over towards B once again. Leah and Co are going to be trapped in towards water. Absolutely obliterated if they're not careful, but it's going to be Summer and Sunny picking up a, a couple of kills here on their side. It's going to be two players left for EG. Empathy and Garden, have they got what, it's, what it takes? AK, AWP. The AWP should be able to find this kill. Misses the shot, like I said. Talking about mistakes. That should have been a shot in the bin. Garden does get taken down. Completely taken off guard. And now Empty going to be left in a 1v3. She has to make this work, but goes over eager. 
I'm going to lose another round. So that's going to be the second round of the board here for Hot Flash. Really well done here. Taking a slightly more passive approach than what we'd seen earlier, waiting for EG to walk into them. And this is kind of what I was hoping that they would do on that T side on Dust 2, right? Just uh, give a little bit of space, allow Evil Geniuses to start taking that space, and then use some of that util to isolate some of those duels. And they did that quite nicely in this round. Obviously, that uh, timeout definitely made a difference for them. I'm getting myself like really excited yet because I'm hoping that this is like the sign of things to come. But I also know that Evil Geniuses have been very good at adapting to anything that Hot Flash throws at them. The Hot Flash have bettered their score from the previous map, so we are definitely seeing some improvement. But uh, Evil Geniuses might not be the, the end of their reign just yet. No, I, I think realistically, all EG needs to do to fix that previous round loss is to take the foot off the pedal slow yeah. it down yeah and uh, they, they may well be fine obviously that then depends on it, how hot flash deal with the fact that they then play slow and we're, we're seeing that right now this is a slow probably one of the slowest rounds we've actually seen from them same could be said from like hot flash they're not playing as aggressive talking of which sunny might go down if they're not careful but there's going to be a lot of damage zin's going to be able to pick up one before getting traded out by jess but that's a good start for them sunny it's the shots going in for the second one. Misses it, but going to be still staying alive in the nick of time. But Empathy catches off guard, gets the kill. Piggy going to be pushing up aggressive over towards the trick here. Yeah. A little bit slow. Has been spotted. Knows where these players are, but fools. And what a fantastic ground from Hot Flash. Kept it. Cool, calm, and collected as they managed to pick themselves up. Another round on the board here, Sam. This is it, right? Wait for Evil Geniuses to walk into you. And it seemed like Evil Geniuses had kind of started to adapt to that, right? You, you were kind of pointing it out as you were walking us through that round. But they also took a slightly slower approach. And they were being a little bit more hesitant. They were trying to take a little bit more control. But Hot Flash just... They didn't waste any of that uh, util terribly early on. They managed to shut down a lot of those sight lines and Evil Geniuses struggle. Now, however, Hot Flash again taking a slightly more aggressive approach. We'll see if Evil Geniuses allow them to uh, take advantage of that. Hmm. What do EG do in this situation? They're, they don't have a crazy amount of money on a couple of players, but they do have bank on uh, Jess and... Piggy and Garden as well, so they can definitely buy into the next round if they want. Might be a little bit of a struggle for Empathy and Milky, but considering round loss bonus, they should get some decent chunk of change in the oh. back. And Milky takes oh. care of business along with Garden. Janky and Zin just completely caught off guard on that front. Didn't have anyone to back them up on that front. No possibilities of trades. And now we just see a completely complex, uh, well, collapsed upon. Leah tries to go up to try and help, but unfortunately runs straight into the gun and barrel of the opposition garden. Just let the clean house. That's going to be another round on the board here. Ninth round. Mm. 13 rounds are coming into play now. I have to wonder if there was some miscommunication there. because the, So the player in long can definitely hear the approach and is definitely hearing the utility being used, seeing it being thrown out, and doesn't call to the player in bathroom. The player in bathroom isn't watching. And yeah, like you said, completely taken off guard. And it's a bit rough. She can't really look away from her angle, having just two players there that can't cover each other in any realistic way makes that so difficult. And obviously Evil Geniuses just take complete advantage of that, uh, well, advantage that they've been given. Mm. I will give it to Hot Flash though. This is it. Difficult teams to play against. Mm -hmm. They are playing methodical when they need to. They are playing a little bit disrespectful at times, but they have earned that. It's not just the fact that they're just playing disrespectful oh. right off the bat. Empathy, point of which he's going to get punished for doing exactly that. But Sonny plays uh, too greedy. Goes in for the AWP and gets punished for it. And that's exactly what should happen in that situation. It's something everyone can learn from. <laughs> you, me, everyone. Chat. Piggy oh. is going to be in a whole heap of trouble, but Leah gets one, but that's going to be all she wrote. She does manage to find one, but the tra trade does come out instantaneously. Now Piggy going to be pushing up her camera. Very bl blurry down there. Not quite sure what's going on. <laughs> Maybe she's struck the smoke down IRL. Pushes around uh -huh. the corner, gets the kill nonetheless. Summer goes down. Janky going to be left in a 1v2. One has one HP though. Gonna be Piggy. She knows where exactly one player is. Going to be playing a little bit too aggressive here. 
Should be able to hear that reload on site, but Piggy goes over the spray. I'm not gonna lie, that was down to the last couple of bullets in that AK, so if she'd missed a couple there, could be in a turn on. It's the AWP there. I just love again how Piggy has made such a big uh, change from that first map, <laughs> right? We kind of pointed out, you know, lowest ADR on her team, spent the entire map playing Anchor this time around. Maybe it was because they didn't have much of a T side on Dust 2. I hate to say it, but it's true. Uh, maybe she does play that role on the T side in a general sense, and we just didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, so cool to see that it is coming to full fruition here. Yeah, I mean, she is dominating right now. Yeah, you, you, you love to see these kind of things. And it's you know, nice of them to try and uh, flex their, their muscles a little bit here. Get a couple of kills. Get some uh, good training. And uh, again, I mean, a hot flash. This is the penultimate round. They've got pistols, a Mac 7 on Leah. Still waiting for her to find a kill off. That might happen this time round if they push out. Oh, oh, God, you can do it, Leah. She finds one. That is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. But unfortunately for the, them, the garden is oh, dead. Yeah. Uh, to clean up house, although she does put her weapon away a little bit too early. Piggy, not quite sure she can believe what happened there. Honestly, props to Janky. She got three yeah. people shooting at her and she's still able to pop one in the dome. <laughs> Fair enough. Better than I would have been able to do. I'm one of those players, you know, like when uh, when you see two players and your brain is like, split the difference, and you shoot between them? Yeah. That's me. Every time. <laughs> so when there's three players, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Um, and that's why I don't play. That's why I, I simply talk about, geek about, and enjoy. <laughs> well, talking about geeking out. It's Karen doing that with EG. They have been playing very nicely. I'd like to see some more technical plays come out from them, but there's only so much you can do in these kind of situations. We'll be seeing a three stack this time round over towards B. Interesting set of utility being used. They are going to be making a lot of noise. Keep in mind, every step you make, just imagine you're, you're at your parents' house and you're trying to make a drink at night. If you get one, this could be a whole turn around. Janky picks up two, but the trade is so quick. Only two players left. Going to be uh, Piggy and Empathy left to try and clutch us out. We've seen this before, but this time round, it's going to be a 2v2. Bomb has not gone down yet. Still going to be on the back of Empathy. She's just waiting. I'm not sure if she saw the gun there. She didn't. Ooh. She falls. Piggy, let's see what you're made of. 15 HP. 1v2. No ability to be able to just save in this one. Not easily anyway. The spot out of the head gets the kill. Gives away her position. And now, this last player is in. Should be able to get the kill here, but makes a single step. It doesn't matter. Gets the kill. And finally, we finish that first half, but what a start. You can see it on the screen here, Piggy starting off and in and out very well. So let's hop on over to a quick break. We'll be back in the second half momentarily.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Evil Geniuses versus Hot Flash here on the ESL Impact Season 2 for North America. The qualifiers! My, my name is Tom Poker, and I'm joined by Sam, aka Naramizuki. You ready for this, Sam? Essentially, the final half of this series. I mean, potentially the final half. It is the final. Oh, you mean of the series? Okay, okay. Sorry. That, <laughs> like, my brain just lagged out there for a second. <laughs> uh. Any, uh, any Zonixes in chat? Any... Ooh. Maybe oh! Not. God, and Milky, look at the start of Al Spicy. Picking up a double kill for themselves. Oh. Conjoined, as it were. Scores seem a little bit messed up at the moment. Hopefully they'll, uh, get picked up momentarily. But EG... Do you manage to start with those two kills, which are fantastic, but the bomb has gone down. Good use of utility here for the opposition, but Empathy going to be running in. Hot and gunning. Gets the first kill, going in for the second one, but can't quite manage it. Not enough bullets. Ah, summer. Nice attempt, but couldn't quite pull it off. That's going to be the first round of the second half in the favor of EG. Oh, that pistol was so important. Oh, for Hot Flash. Uh, very similar to the previous map. As well. Okay, things are a lot more dire on Dust 2 than they are here. So we'll at least put that a little bit of a caveat on it. But regardless, to come back from a four score line in the second half, you really, really do need to win the pistol round, convert it, turn it into a bit of a snowball. Now, obviously, they're going to be forcing in a little bit, but it's, it's rough. It's not ideal. They're going to try and match this up a little bit. See if they can make something happen here on their T side, but look at this map control from EG. EG just going to be pushing up, trying to get as much information as they can. Milky does go down. The trade's going to be coming in hot and fast. Piggy is on fire right now. Picks up multiple kills. Fire trouble. I mean, EG just do not allow Hot Flash space to breathe. They circle in like lionesses in a savanna. And the <laughs> moment that Hot Flash try to push anywhere, they pounce. And it's it's really cool to see. Like, you you really have to have a, an appreciation for how well they play that. But unfortunately for Hot Flash, that does mean that they are now in a, a rougher spot than they were in previously. I mean, every round that EG wins is around that hot flash will be will be devastated by uh and now with hot flash back down onto a pistol we're looking at 14 to 4. then they're able to maybe force in a bit yeah yeah i mean they should be able to buy they should be able to buy you yeah, know they'll have they'll have 2900 after losing this round theoretically we have seen stranger things on ecos but uh hopefully into the next round maybe they start to bring it back you see it right off the bat. It is going to get smoked out. Sunny, you're going to have to hit those headshots with your pistol. The P250 is going to be key on this front. Well, every kind of pistol you have. Piggy, just going for the spray. Of course, it is going to hit somewhere in the feet. A little bit unfortunate if you're not a player. I mean, you didn't quite deserve to get shot through that smoke, but Lee is going to be returning the favor. But Piggy picks up a nice three, pi three piece for her trouble. Now looking to go for sure. Not going to get a chance as Garden picks up to. It's going to be Sunny and Janky that go down. 14 to 4 here, Sam. What a round from this mm. side. EG just shut that down and controlled the map once again. How lucky is Piggy? You know, she plays site anchor and it just so happens Hot Flash keep going to her site. She now sits at 24 and 6. That is That's nasty. Crazy. I don't yeah, she <laughs> She finished off the last half at 17 uh, to 6. She had 97 ADR and 23% uh, headshot ratio. I think she, would well, she finish at like 40% headshot ratio? 42%, yeah. percent on uh, Dust 2, which is insane. It's absolutely nasty. She only had 11 kills to be fair, but you know, she was playing defensive. All right, Hot Flash. Got something to play with, yep. Ooh, all right, Leah takes a ton of damage, isn't able to return any fire there. We'll turn a bit of a precarious position. I do like that they've spread out a little across the map here to try and take some of that control back from EG. Oh, Empathy. She's just going to be playing really far ahead of the rest of her teammates. We've seen this before. And Leah is just scared, having to back off from this position. Look at this map control. 
Mm -hmm. EG are just like, yeah, no, get out of my space. And Empathy just runs away, doesn't care. Just <laughs> gives up on that spot and she goes back hunting for kills. Like a lioness in this front. Gets one. Sunny has been spotted. Gonna be going in for the kills though. Have to be careful. They're gonna be coming in. They're gonna be hunting you down. Piggy knows exactly what's going on. Her teammates are gonna be conversing with her fantastically. And that's gonna be a nice kill in the bank for her. Trey could have come in, but unfortunately Milky is there to back them up. This could be the penultimate round. Empathy. Not able to hit that that leg shot even on Leah. She crosses on over, goes in for the no scope. Can't quite hit anything again. Jumps up on top of the wood. Doesn't hit any shots. The USB does come in handy, but unfortunately could be missing far too many. Could fool, but her teammates are here. Ready to save her just in the nick of time. She could be pushing up, looking to go for the knife kill. Doesn't quite get it. As her teammate does manage to find the kill. It's going to be Garden getting that one. And this could be the, the, the final round here. The series yeah. point. I uh, I liked the idea that Hot Flash were going with there, right? So a lot of that has to do with the amount of pressure that's being pushed towards T spawn, but at the same time, it's it's kind of lining that up for an attempt at a fake. And unfortunately, like the rest of Hot Flash's team, just get completely annihilated by the time they uh, push in onto the site. So it doesn't it doesn't pan out. Now, final round, not much to work with. They are yoloing it, and it's not working, Tom. Yeah, I think EG are just done with this. They're, they they want to take that 3-0 three, three on the leaderboard and laugh it all the way to the bank. They want to they wanna turn around to Nygma and be like, come out, come at us. What are you going to do? And it's going to be one hell of an interesting turn of events. When we do see that eventually come through, I thought that was a no-scope. It didn't bring up the icon, but GG, well played. EG, absolutely beautiful play.